Welcome everyone, this is Plugin Fox, and today we're back with another plugin called Fast Async World Edit. So this is exactly like a world edit command. I just find this one a little bit easier to use. Sometimes this also works a lot better than the other one does sometimes. But this will work with all the other ones as well, so like World Guard, Plot Squared, all that stuff. So let's just get started right into it. So just click on the download, download it in and we can add it to the server here all right now that we're in the server what we can do is just go straight into the plugin file and just drag and drop it in so once you drag and drop it in just restart your server and then we should be good to go while you're doing that let's begin with a little bit of an announcement about my discord server so I have a Discord server about Minecraft plugins. If you guys want to join, learn more about plugins, or get help about plugins, you're feel free to join the server in the comment section or in the description below. So let us begin with the world edit. All right, so we are back again. So if you drop, so you will have nothing in your inventory when you start up. So if you do slash wand. You want to do slash slash one, sorry. It'll give you a want. So it will just be a wooden pickaxe you can use to pretty much move stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this grass block. And you'll see first position has been set. So let's dive down underground a little bit. I don't want to go down too deep because I don't want to crash my server. What we can do slash set or slash slash set block to zero and that will turn it all to air as you can see it did that but it didn't do the top piece because i didn't ask for the top piece so as you can see down here it's just a big brick underneath so i did make a mistake so since i made a mistake let's undo it so if you do slash slash undo it will put everything back the way it was beforehand so now let's find a actual small square space and we'll just use this area over here. And as you can see now, if I do slash zero, it makes a nice little deep crater. So that's great for us to use to pretty much uh, crater out things or you can also do what's called copy and paste. So if I had, I'm going to build a small little house here really quick. This is not going to look like a house whatsoever, but I just want to kind of show you the concept of it. My small little wooden house here. So let's say this, I want to copy and paste this little house. What you can do is do this. So do the first position, second position, and do slash slash copy. So I copied these blocks. So now if I stand over here and do slash slash paste, oh, it did it underground because of the way I copied it, but it's there. So as you can see, so now I can do slash undo because I don't want that second copy. It will take it from whatever position you're standing in. So if I do it, uh, let's try this again. So if I do it right here, let me turn it to day again. Oops. Uh, So I should have it copied now, or slash slash copy. And you'll see that it's copied right here. So now if I do slash slash paste, uh, it might have put it underground again. But, oh there it is, sorry, I just missed it. So as you can see, it, it put it where I wanted it to be. So you can also do slash rotate and all that stuff alongside of it so 
you can pretty much put it in whatever position you want. Now instead of doing the wand, there is another function that you can do. So you can just stand in the position and do slash slash pause wand. And it'll do position one. And if I do slash pause two, it'll put that as position two. And as I said, I can do slash slash set zero and it will empty up that lane there. Alright, so there's a lot of other ones that you can do, so let's do another one here. So if I want to do a wall per se, and I want it to go all the way up here to this one right here, what I can do is slash slash wall, and then put whatever block you want. So I'm just going to do block one, and it will throw a wall in place. You can put this in whatever pattern you want if you want to do it that way. Um, otherwise, it will just put a wall there. The next one I can do is slash slash region. So this whole area is not here anymore. I completely got rid of the chunk. But if I do slash slash region, it might take a little while, but it will regen this chunk again. I may have just crashed my server. Um, you can hollow out stuff, move stuff, uh, naturalize stuff. There we go. So now it regen everything again. Uh, with some weird, I don't know why, but it puts some weird textures on top. But um. So you can do slash rotate slash flip uh, schematics if you have any schematics you want to make. So I can do like slash schematic the little house. You can do paste that into your server slash cut all that stuff. All right, and now we're coming down to kind of the other stuff. So so if we do slash slash pyramid. We will want to do, um, so the size of it, we're going to put, or the pattern. So we just want to do one for the pattern, and the size will do 50. Oops. So I'm going to turn myself into spectator. As you can see, I built this pyramid a little big, but it created a perfect pyramid. So now what we can do is we can do a sphere. So slash slash sphere. And the first one you want to do is the pattern. So I'm just going to do uh, that again. And then we'll do radius of five this time. It will always put you in the sphere and all that stuff if you do it this way uh, because it's going off your foot location, not your other one. So as you can see, it put a sphere in there. So what we want to do now is you can also do force gen. So if I do... I don't think this will work too well, but if I do slash forest gen, it didn't create any trees, but if it was in the forest, you can regen the forest if you want. Uh, you can do like pumpkins uh, and a bunch of other stuff, but that's pretty much the basics of the command that you will use probably on an everyday basis. This really will help you guys learn a little bit more. There is so many other commands, so if you guys want to learn more, just kind of dig into the command list a little bit more. I'll have that in the list below. So let's get into the config file. All right, let's get started here. I'm not going to go over this in too much depth, but you can kind of understand what's happening a little bit more. 
So you can do clipboards, so this will allow you to copy and paste stuff, lighting effects, you can do generation, web, um, queue process, so this will allow you to uh, delay processes, all that stuff. History, how fast it should go, all that stuff. Has regeneration. A lot of this stuff you will not have to change, and that's probably for the better. Um, I would just leave all of this the same. If you know what you want to do with it, you can pretty much do whatever you want. But either the basic one is slash slash fast to bypass it, or slash wea. But um, in some of the other instances as well, uh, something like this is exactly the same as world edit so if you have anything else like world edit the, these will have the same commands i just prefer this one a little bit better because of the fact that it runs a lot smoother than world edit but other than that uh pretty much everything else should be about the same um i think that'll be it for today if you guys enjoyed the video click the like button if you guys uh really like the video hit the subscribe or comment down below what you would like to change or see different otherwise i will see you guys in the next video have a great rest of your day